Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna show you how you can add analytics to any Nuxt.js project incredibly easily in just one step. So stay with me here. Uh, this is a little website that I set up a while ago for content creation. I run a content agency called One Second Copy. And for a while I was wondering, hey, how do I add super easy analytics to this? I wanna be able to see who's coming, where they're coming from. I don't wanna like, you know, be super weirdly invasive or creepy, but I wanna know a little bit more about my users so that I can curtail my content to them. And then along came the big problem. How do I do analytics with Nuxt? A big issue with analytics with Nuxt, I think, is that there are like 5 million modules. One of them is the Google Analytics module, which is actually pretty good. But I found that it was pretty buggy and it didn't really work for me 100% uh, the first couple times that I used it. There were also a couple of other analytics services. All in all, it was a big pain in the ass. So here's how to make any analytics system uh, that is based off tags work with Nuxt.js super easily. All you got to do is go over to your Nuxt uh, website here. In, in this case, this is my Nuxt website. It's currently running that dev server, which is why you see it pop up over here. And then you need to go to your root folder. So in this case, this is my root folder. And you need to create a file called app.html. This is essentially going to be a template file that you can insert any code into your HTML template, and it'll automatically populate. Now it's very important here that your file looks something like this. In my case, we have a doc type HTML, HTML with these two kind of, you know, uh, squiggly brackets, HTML attributes, and then another head with the head attributes where you put the head files, and then another head uh, closing tag, a body tag where you put app, this is where the main app is going to live, and then a closing HTML tag. I'm going to include this in the description so you guys can literally just copy and paste this, but make sure that the file is called app.html. And then all you do after that is you grab your code, whatever you're using for your analytics. In my case, I'm using these guys called panel bear and uh, panel bear request that you put it in the header. All I do is I just copy and paste their code into this app.html and save. It's that easy. You can imagine how any other analytics platform like uh, Google analytics or maybe I think Firebase, yeah, no, there, there were a couple of other analytics platforms that are very tag based, super easy, kind of copy and paste. This is the exact same thing that you do with them, just instead of just putting it in the head, for example, you might want to put uh, half of it in the body, the other half in the head, whatever the documentation specifically refers you to. But in a nutshell, that is how you do it. If you want to see it live on your website, all you need to do is go into that head and then look for panel bear analytics. And you can see that exact same code snippet was copy and pasted as well as another little script tag here. It is honestly that easy. Just takes maybe 30 seconds or so. You update it, you push it to your repo and your analytics will be live. Panel Bear is already reporting a visit to my website as we speak. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you guys like this kind of content and this new kind of style of production that I'm doing, I, I just got a new setup. Uh, let me know, I'm more than happy to keep this stuff up. I, I earn, I earnestly hope to be publishing at least a few videos a week on various Next.js and Next.js topics. Without further ado, I will catch you guys later. Make sure to like and subscribe.